for me to lose him and my son would do the best thing to me. Only on WLWT News 5, emotional testimony in court today as a man was sentenced for a deadly drunken driving crash. The driver and the victim were cousins. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters reports a family is grieving the loss of one young man and trying to spare the other. It's not often you have the mother of the victim come to court to speak out in favor of a light sentence, but that's exactly what happened in this case. Before the sentencing ever took place, Tanya Seal rested her head on her nephew Joshua's shoulder. It's the kind of moment you might expect in court till you realize Joshua killed her son. Joshua Seal was behind the wheel during this accident back in April in Coleraine Township. He admitted to drinking and driving, killing his cousin, 21 year old Dominique Carter. They were out celebrating Dominique's birthday. And I love my son. And I love Joshua too. This is such a difficult thing for me. We learned today they had a designated driver who bailed on them, so Seal got behind the wheel. I want you to know I forgive him, and I love him. Dominique loves him, and he loves Dominique. I just ask for leniency when you make your final decision. Attorney Merlin Chiverdecker called this the toughest kind of case and said Joshua Seal will endure a lifetime of punishment regardless of what sentence he's given. He is enduring himself tremendous pain and suffering and is truly remorseful. Judge Beth Myers could have given him up to five years in prison. She decided on five years on community control after a stay of up to six months in the River City Correctional Lockdown Treatment Program. After release from River City, yeah, you must submit to regular and random and often drug and alcohol screening at the discretion of the adult probation department. And after drinking and driving and taking his cousin's life, he will not be able to drive again for 10 years. And the vow in court today from Judge Beth Myers is that she will give him five years in lockup if he violates his community control. From the Hamilton County Courthouse, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. There was a request to stay Joshua Seal's sentence until after the holidays to give him more time with family, but that request was denied.